Hi, I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead and today I've got a quick review for you and that is the Mountain House Ice Cream Sandwich. Long-term food storage, delightful ice cream sandwich treat. So here we go. So a couple of years ago, my family and I had a, uh, a small homestead retreat kind of farm place uh, in the Midwest and uh, we basically had a bunch of different food items that we had that were long-term storage items there that when we had the opportunity to get away on a, on a weekend and, and rush out there on a Friday and then come home on a Sunday afternoon, we would have a bunch of different food items that we knew or we thought we knew uh, were not going to go bad, long-term stuff. And today, I have we, we never really did try this ice cream sandwich, so here it goes. We're going to try the Mountain House ice cream sandwich. All right, so on the back it says, ready to eat, no refrigeration required. And the facts are total fat is 9%, saturated fat's 15, cholesterol 7, sodium is 6, total carbs are 9. It says here that it's shelf stable uh, until November 2016. So when this was purchased, till the time I'm getting ready to open it up, is about four years. So a four year shelf life for this product. I'm reading through the ingredients and I'm not seeing anything squirrely. I'm not catching any MSG or anything like that. Uh, ice cream, uh, it says milk, cream, skim milk, solid sugar, corn syrup, whey, all kinds of uh, flavorings, sugar. Uh, not really seeing anything crazy. It says contains milk, wheat, and soy. So. Right out of the gate, I'm going, all right, no MSG, no crazy chemicals, nothing I cannot pronounce. That's a good starter for me. So here we go, Mountain House. It's you or me. Okay, so here we go. Let's open this bad boy up and see what we've got. All right, out you come. It's in a nice little handy dandy foil bag there. And let's open this guy up, see what it looks like. Ooh, looks like an actual ice cream sandwich. Look at that. Mine has been destroyed from packaging, or being on the shelf, I guess, for a while. Uh, I've been rustled about, but here we go. Let's take a bite of this and see what we think. Man, that's actually pretty good. It tastes like the real thing. Well done. I really like this. This is solid. Not bad backpack storage food. This is really tasty. Where you go. Now, as I'm getting ready to finish this review up, there's only one thing that I would like to point out as a slight negative uh, before I give you the full blown review. And that's just that it's three bucks. It's a tiny treat, which is really, really great. And I know sweets can really brighten your day if things are gloomy or you're having a bad day. It's just, it's awesome to have. However, I wouldn't have a lot of them on hand. Just because it is $3, it's kind of expensive. But here we go. Here's the final what for on the Mountain House ice cream treat. So here it is. In my humble opinion, this is a shelf stable treat that uh, tastes pretty good. Uh, I think the kids will like it more than the adults. However, it's kind of fun. It uh, draws your memory back to those times when you were young and they had the astronaut ice cream. It's pretty much the same thing. The flavor of it's pretty good. It's a nice treat if you've, if you've got to have some shelf stable food that's gonna last a long time. Or you know, you've got maybe a, a, a tub of things set aside in case there's a, uh, uh, a natural disaster, the power goes out. This can be a fun way to brighten up the day. Tastes pretty good. So on that, for what it is, Mountain House ice cream, I'm gonna give you eight out of 10. So well done, there you have it. So there it is, that's my opinion. I cannot tell a lie. Oh, sounds like George Washington. But the more important question I think is, why the heck did he cut down the tree in the first place? I mean, who cuts down a cherry tree? Whatever. So if you like the video, please don't forget to click like and subscribe. It honestly does help us out. My name is Brad with Big Family Homestead, and you have an amazing day.